let's get out of the way. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment if you'd like. Tomo-chan episode 6 start off with something very strange. So Tomo's birthday is today, and Jun gave her a present, and what is the present? Well, it's glasses. And they're ugly too, they don't even look very good. And she puts them on, and she's like, yeah, look how cool I look. The school and tells her friends, now that I'm 16, I might be older than you, and you gotta respect me because I have these glasses. And then her friend says, I don't really give a shit, this gets really old, but here's a present. And even if you don't like what someone says, giving textbooks as a present, I don't know just doesn't work. But I get it, Tomo's really dumb and she needs to study up, but... And then Carol gives her a present and it's the most crazy thing you'll ever see. It's a big chunk of gold. And I don't even know how much that gold costs. Probably in the thousands or even more. And she says, oh, I have a bigger piece if you want it. And instead of just giving her physical money, instead they say, all right, we're going to give you a transformation to make you look more girlier. And remember, there's nothing wrong with looking masculine, just that June doesn't like that look. So on a Saturday afternoon, they go to her friend's house. And they're really trying to figure out what to put on her face and stuff like that. But with all that money that Carol has, they can probably buy the best makeup and the best everything. So they decided to put a wig on her because she has short hair. But the good thing is that she's not ugly. She has a nice face, just that she has a short haircut. After they're done transforming her, she looks not like what she used to look like. She looks fucking great. But even though she looks different, she still sounds the same. She talks the same way. So they say, all right, go get us some ice cream. They kick her out. I mean, when I say she's good looking, this whole store is looking at her this is unfucking believable so this is a small store and i don't know how big japan is but or how small the city is but somehow june's in there and i'm thinking that's all he does he goes to the small store and then reads magazines or something so i don't think he recognized her because she doesn't look the same and she's trying to hide from him and crouch really low so she's able to get the ice cream and then she's walking out and she's trying to speed up but she doesn't wear high heels so she doesn't really know how to walk and then she trips and when she's on the ground because she tripped he's there for some reason and then he helps her out and thinks is this her but he can't be she looks a lot different and she's surprised because she looks a lot different she feels like she's disguised but maybe he does know it's her so he helps her out and that's when she feels like she's being treated like the girl she wants to be treated and clearly she likes june so without thinking she fucking says hey do you want to walk together that wasn't the fucking mission the mission was for you to go get the ice cream and come back but that doesn't matter now so they're walking and he says now i'm certain it's not tomo because she's a lot taller and I'm thinking, wow, it's all those karate classes that he's so dumb. And it's a good thing for him because you don't need brains or smarts to just date hot girls. So they go on this small date. So when they're walking home, they see kids playing soccer and she gets really pumped. She's like, yeah, go and score, go! And she doesn't make it. So they end up just watching the whole game because she likes it and he likes her now. But that sucks for Tomo because she says, fuck, how is it that when I look like this, I get the date, but when I'm not, it doesn't work. But finally, she uses her brain and thinks, all right. I look different, so let me ask him, what do you think of your best friend that you've known for a long time? Well, let me go back. So she says because they're watching a soccer game, and there's a boy and a girl who are best friends, and you can tell, and they're very similar to them. And so he responds, well, I want to beat her one day. I want to be better. And she doesn't understand the shit that he just said. Instead, he says, hey, is the ice cream still good? No, mission failed. It's melted. And she's like, no. And so she runs home because the ice cream is really melted. And when she gets in there, the reason why they sent her out to get ice cream was because they're planning a birthday party for her. Honestly, she has great friends. They change the way she looks, they throw her a surprise birthday party, and, and they like talking to her a lot. The next day, she goes back to the way she is, and June grabs her cheeks and she punches them really hard in the face. There's going to be a really big dodgeball tournament, and they're getting really pumped to do this, but Tomo is very scary, because she can throw a ball as if she was an experienced pitcher from a baseball team. So they kick her out of the girl's side, and they put her right into the boy's side, because she's really good at this game. The boys are really excited, they're like, fuck yeah, she's really good! So there's a really strong guy that looks like he's... 40 years old and for some reason he's in high school still. Tomo and June already know this guy because he's really strong and they want to kick his ass. But that's for a different page. And if they wanted to, this could be a battle shonen anime because the way that they throw the volleyballs and the way that they miss and they dodge and all that stuff, it's pretty fucking intense. And you wouldn't think that they'd win because this guy stops balls like he feels a wall or something. But they do end up winning and everyone's cheering but the other guy is not happy. So he goes to Judo and says, hey, you won that that game but how if we play a game of mine? And so they have a match of Judo and he still beats him. He says, how are you beating me? You do karate. Well, I'm the main character of the series and if I have a goal and I have to beat someone, I will win. After kicking this guy's ass, he goes home with Tomo and then he thinks, wow. When I'm next to her, I have all the power in this world. Maybe I am that gamer kid who's only strong-willed because you're by my side. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Peace.